Wow, Nelko. That testament was like something out of a, a Hollywood script. But I would have to say, based on your initial symptoms, what you've told me, that you may, may have a slight case of paranoid schizophrenia. Now, now let me explain. Paranoid schizophrenia is a subtype of schizophrenia by which a person has hallucinations that people or persons are plotting against them or their family members. Now, most of the time, people with paranoid schizophrenia, they have audible hallucinations by which they hear things. So, Dr. Clark, I mean, what are you saying? I mean, are you insinuating them some type of nutcase or something? No, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. I mean, so what are you saying? Well, what I'm saying is based on what you've told me and your initial symptoms, I would have to do a psychological screening test in order to give you an accurate diagnosis. So what does this psychological screening test consist of? Well, it's composed of several questions and based on how you score, I'll be able to give you an accurate diagnosis. However, I have to say, I'm concerned about some of the things that you have expressed to me. Like what? Well, you said you've done some terrible things, and maybe this is karma coming back to bite you in your buttocks. You said you hear voices, voices in your head telling you that people are conspiring against you to harm you in some kind of way. Can you elaborate on that? I plead the fifth on that one, Dr. Clark. <laughs> now, Nelka, how am I going to help you if you're unwilling to talk to me? You know, it's, it's based on trust, Dr. Clark. And, you know, there's certain things that my own wife doesn't even know. I understand. Off the record, tell me something about yourself. Well, I've been a psychiatrist now for over 15 years. And I've dealt with clients who are very notable people, people who are held in high esteem, people very much like yourself. So discretion is paramount. Now, Let's get back to you. You're going to need to talk to me in order for me to be able to help you. I'm just saying, Dr. Clark, I just don't want anything that we speak about to come back to incriminate me or haunt me in any type of way. I do business with a lot of government officials, and before it gets out that I'm seeing a shrink, I mean, this could really tarnish my public image. I'm walking a fine line just being here today speaking with you. Yes, I understand. Now, off the record, a man of your stature, background, intelligence, you've already done your due diligence. You've already researched me, so I'm quite sure you're aware of my credentials. Just like you know who I am, I know who you are. You're a man that doesn't like to waste time nor money. You're accustomed to the best. I am the best. And in that, you can trust. Now, as far as releasing any of your information, unless I have authorized written consent from you that complies with certain laws, that are imposed by HIPAA and 42 CFR, I can't do so. Now, in order for me to help you and to really get to the root of the problem, you have to be willing to talk to me now, Co. Well, Dr. Clark, there's, there's some things that, um, it's, uh, Take your time. 